and Mark is going to give us a recitation of Tamashanta. That's right. Thank you. We'll, um, take a little space for this over here, if you don't mind. <coughs> Tamo Shanta, a tale. When Chapman Billy's leave the street and Druthy Nebus Nebus beat, as market day is wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, as we sit boozing at the nappy, getting. Mm, Foo, an unca happy. We think not on the lang Scotch miles, the mosses, waters, slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, where sits her sulky, sullen dame, <laughs> gathering her brows like a gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. <laughs> well, this truth found honest Tam O'Shanter, as he for e'er a nicht did canter. Well, there who ne'er attunes a passes for honest men and bonny lasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tam, thou but been so wise as to attain thy own life Kate's advice. She told thee will thou is a skellum, a blithering, blustering, drunken blellum, that fe November till October I mark it nicht thee up with thee sober. That till Camel the Reader Miller thou sat as lagged as thou had siller. That ere a nag was called a shoe on, the smith and the eagle roaring through on. That at the laird's who seaver on Sunday thou sat with Kirk and Jean till Monday. Though she prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in doom, or catched by warlocks in the murk. By Alway's old haunted kirk. Yeah, gentle dames, it cares me great to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened sage advises the husband for the wife despises. But to her tale, I mark it nicht. Tabba got planted uncorrect, fast by an ingle blazing finely, with reaming swats that drank divinely. Mm. At his elbow, suitor Johnny. His ancient, trusted, through thee, crony, oh, to load him like a very brother. They had been food for weeks together. <laughs> oh, the night drave on with sangs and clatter, and every ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favours secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told the queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. Ah, the storm outside might rare and rustle. Tam didn't they mind a storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man so happy, in droon himself a bang the nappy. As bees fly him will lay to treasure, the moments wing their way with pleasure. Ah, kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, o'er all the ills of life victorious. <laughs> but pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, the bloom is shed, or like the snowfall on the river, a moment white and melts forever. Or like the body Alice race that flit till you can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form, the vanishing amidst the storm. Nay man can tether time nor tide, the hour approaches, time won't ride. That o'er the nicht's black earth the key stain, that dreary o'er to mounts his beastin, and sick and act he tax a rodin, as ne'er poor sinner was a broadin. The wind blew as twas blown its last, the doublin showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams of darkness swallowed deep, loud and lang the thunders bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Well mounted on his grey bare meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam skilp it on through dub and mire, despising rain and wind and fire, <gasps> whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scotch sonnet, while glaring round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him on the words. <laughs> Kirk Galloway was drawing nigh, the ghosts and howlets nightly cry. By this time he crossed the ford, Within the snow the chapman smored, 
And by the Burks and Meeklestain went drunken Charlie Brack's neck vain. And through the winds and past the cairn, where hunters found the murdered bairn, and near the thorns aboon the well, where Mungo's mother hanged her cell. <laughs> Before him doon put all his floods, the doubling storm rolled through the woods, the lightning flashed from pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll. When glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Galloway seemed in a bleeze. Through Ilka bore the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Ballycon, what dangers thou canst mak us scorn. With Tippany we fear the evil, with East Givet we'll face the devil. Oh, the swats he leaned in Tammy's noddle, fair play he cared the deals a bottle. But Maggie stood back, sair astonished, till the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward to the left. And thou, Tam, saw an uncassect. Warlocks, witches, in a dance, nay, cotillon, bright new fee France, but hornpipes, jigs, straspays, and reels, gied life and metal to their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape a beast, a toozy tyke, black, grim, and large, to gie the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gap and skirl, till roof and rafters all did dirl. Coffins stood round, like open presses that showed the dead in their last dresses, and by some devilish contrip slight, each in his cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the holy table a murderer's banes and gibbet urns, twa span lang, we unchristened bairns. Five Tom Hawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars were murdered, crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son, a life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft. And more horrible and awful, that but to tell would be unlawful. Three priests' hearts, rotten, black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nook. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out, when lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Now as Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dances quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they cleek it, till Ilka Callan swat and reek it, and cursed her duddies to the work and wink it up, it's in her sack. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, have they been queens, all plump and strapping in their teens, their sacks instead of creasy flannen, being snow white seventeen hundred linen. Oh, well, they'll breeze of mine, my only pair, the lands were plush of good blue hair. I would have given them half my thirties, for I blink all they bonny birdies. But withered beldams. Old and droll, rigwitty hags would stay a foal, leaping and fling it on a crummer. I wonder, didn't they turn my stomach? Whoa. But Tam, oh, Tam kent what was what, full brawly. There was I, winsome wench and a lolly, that night enlisted to the core, lang after kent on carrick shore, for money a beast the deed she'd shot, and perished money a bonny boat. Now her cutty sack, o paisley han, that as a lassie she had worn, in longitude though sorely scanty, it was her best and she was vaunty. Oh, little ken her reverend granny, that sack she coughed for her wee nanny, with twappin' scots, twas all her riches, whenever grace a dance o' witches. That here might use her ring mon cor, so flight so far beyond her poor, to sing her nanny lap and flang, a supple ditty was unstrang, and how Tam stood like ain't bewitched, and thought his very e'en enriched. Even Satan glured and fidged fu fain, and hocked and blew and micht and main, till first I keep aside another, Tam tint his reason all together, and yells out, Well done, cut his ark! And in an instant, all was dark. <laughs> 
And scarcely had he baggy rallied when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees buzz out with angry fight when plundering herds assail their bite. As open pussies mortal foes when poxy starts before their nose. As eager runs the market crowd when cats the thief resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow, with money and eeldrifts screech and hollow. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, they'll get thy fair in, and hell they'll roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. But do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystay and all the brig. There at them thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare they cross. But ere the keystay she can make, the fiend to tail she has to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flies at Tam with furious ettle. But little wist she Maggie's metal. I spring brought off her master's hail, but left behind her own grey tail. <laughs> The carlin clutter by the rump and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. <laughs> now, where this tale of truth shall read, ilk man, mother's son, take heed whene'er to drink you are inclined, or cutty sacks run in your mind. Think. You may buy the joys, or dear, remember Tabo Shanta's mare. Oh.